process of fracking is basically there are so many risks involved, so many unknowns that we just really don't want to, to we don't want to be the guinea pigs of the country. So about a year and a half ago we found out about fracking in the village. We did a lot of research, proper research, and we decided that a lot of people in the village decided that it just they didn't want it on their doorstep and they didn't trust Quadrilla, the company. I'd say there are a minority of people who haven't informed themselves in the village and you know they get fearful of, th of new things. You know for them if, if it was just about the drilling behind these trees then you know they probably think it would be okay and it would go away and it wouldn't affect them but people who've actually informed themselves, chemical experts down, we've had people from communities that have been affected and these people have actually gone out and talked to people and done their own research are all unanimously against this. I mean a lot of people are quietly anti-fracking, you know, probably almost the majority, but that's changing every day. You have more and more people coming down to the site, coming to see what's going on, talking to people, talking to each other, and you know, educating themselves and and they basically they, they don't want it. We don't want it here. Nobody wants it. Lock the Gate is a scheme where we ask residents door to door how they feel about fracking and if enough say no, we can declare our village Balkan frack free and other villages can do the same. It's a chance for residents to stay officially. We do not grant Quadrilla a social licence nor a moral licence to be here. They can get all the planning permission they want and all the politicians on their side but Lock the Gate shows Quadrilla that the local people do not want them here. <laughs>